The new CAF president has been in charge of the governing body for African football for just over a week and already has begun work on steering the beleaguered organization in the right direction and has pledged to visit all 54 countries by March 2022. One of the things I had to do was to announce the vice presidents and I have to look at as I said, the issue of women was critically important to me, but also the issue of the continent. You want to have leadership from every part of the continent so that they feel that they are part of that. Finding a broadcast deal that works for the continent remains a top priority for the billionaire businessman and his new CAF executive committee. But he also wants to create a culture within CAF that can lead to robust dialogue. We have to create a culture where people can speak. I mean, yeah. I mean, this culture that you've got, a, you've got an organization where what the president says is what happens. So if the president says we're now all going to jump off a cliff, that's it. I mean, that's, that's wrong. We've got to allow people to disagree with the president, to give the president different views. The 59-year-old Mutsepe has vowed to keep the crown jewel of African football, the Africa Cup of Nations, taking place every two years and not every four as per the desire of the world football boss Gianni Infantino, who has backed Mutsepe from day one. Infantino, in all of the discussions and his passion for African football, his commitment to African football, his partnership to make African football succeed, and the discussions I've had with him for quite some time, and that's why I can confidently say that I'm absolutely committed to work together with him, to partner. He's my brother. He loves Africa. And I need him to help us do the things we need to do for Africa. Women's football will also receive increased support, and Mutsepe is hoping corporate investment will boost the organization's revenue streams and prize money for all competitions. The work has really begun. We know we are football people. We need results. We need to score goals. At the end of the 90 minutes, we need to win. We will win. We will succeed. The eighth president of the Confederation for African Football has a mammoth task to mop up the mess left by his predecessor. But in the space of seven days, he's already made positive strides in getting African football headed in the right direction and in a position to end the woes of yesteryear and finally realize its true potential as a powerhouse of world football. CS2 Plessis, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.